Good morning, Totem Collective. This morning we are going to do a reading, and this reading has to do with a healing message from your body. What does your body want to tell you at this moment in order to make you stronger, to face your current impasse? We are going to do past, present, future. This is Archangel Raphael, Chakras, Angelic cards, very sweet messages from the angels. So let's start with your past. Unconditional joy. Thank you for letting me appreciate everything that makes me happy right now. In the past you had some comforts, some joys, something that made you happy, something you could appreciate. You had a bit of a blissful state. You were in a bit of a bubble. Things were sustainable for you. You had not faced the issues and problems of the grown-up world, the real world, the outside world. You had a little inside world that worked for you and you were cozy and safe. And without knowing it, you were pretty happy. Coloring, joy, singing, drawing. Colors is not just the colors per se. Color is a vibration. You could see the beauty in the world. You could see possibilities. You had gifts and skills that you naturally would use and they made you happy to use them. And you were in a separate world from the real world. That doesn't mean that your world was not real. It means that you had not yet come into the physical world where you had to fit in and be forced to comply. And the message from your angels in the past is the angel of obedience. There are two kinds of obedience, to your own soul, to your own path. I follow my soul's guidance day by day, and that's when you were happy, and that's when you were functioning, that's when your emotional body was sustainable, because the only true obedience is to the soul. From that dimension within our own being, come all signals, guidance, intuition to be obeyed. When we obey, in that way, with all our senses, we are serving the soul. And we know since we came here to do a job and the soul guides us to do that particular job is when we are happy. That's the past. Pretty cool. In the present, have faith. Thank you for boosting my faith so that I trust in miracles. I have a feeling that the today's world has made your energetic system a bit wobbly and there are ups and downs, some things you don't know how to negotiate. You are looking for an anchor in the storm. You are trying to find someone, maybe that's why you're in this reading or other similar readings. You are trying to anchor your meaning, your purpose. You are trying to remember that person that you used to be. You know that happiness is there somewhere and you want to take it back into your arms, into your hands. You want to own it. Ambition. Now, even though this ambition is in the solar plexus, we, we could misunderstand it as a physical ambition. I actually feel that it's a deeper ambition. It may show in the solar plexus as trying to find your career or your path, but I feel for all the other cards that we are seeing here, that it's a sole purpose ambition. It's ambition not just of anything, but an ambition to be exactly what you wanted to be when you first came here, the sacred contract, pre-birth contract that you signed. You want that path 
no other path. And that is why it's requiring even more faith than you already have. And I do not believe you do not have faith. I believe you do have a very strong faith. But you are wanting to see all the possible faith that you can draw in order to have the strength to take you there, whatever he means, whatever he asks of you. And so in the present, the angel of balance. I trust my inner balance and I allow changes to happen. And you see, you are here trying to maintain the balance between what the external world wants from you and what you know you want and your soul is telling you that you need. When the personality and soul work together, there is a balanced flow of energies through our bodies, feelings and thoughts. Through this feeling of inner balance, we free ourselves from limitations and allow changes to happen. You know, because of the person that you used to be and the person that you intend to be, you know that you can't control destiny. You, we are at the mercy of our destiny. It doesn't matter what we do. At the end of the day, we have to complete the job that we came here to do. It's the only thing that will make us happy. And without being happy, nothing else matters. All the money, all the power, it really is irrelevant. In the end, we implode in our karmic closed cycle that doesn't really go anywhere. When I say it doesn't go anywhere, I mean it doesn't go where it needs to go. So now you are tweaking that balance between physical demands and inner passion. Let's see where all this takes you. Leave a stressful situation behind. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage and willingness to take good care of myself, including surrounding myself with healthy relationships and positive situations. He is helping you get into the unicorn. He's got wings, he can fly. You have tasted the power of the divine. You're not going to be prepared to just do a mundane job every day with no purpose, just like a Groundhog Day, a rat race. That's not going to be for you and you are not prepared to settle for that. So you are waiting and you want to wait and you are thanking the universe. You are thanking your God. You are thanking your higher self for guiding you, but you are not going to compromise your integrity. Look, nurturing, second chakra. You know at this stage, in order for you to balance your energies, you need to keep your body happy, balanced, a vibrational frequency, maintained, sustained, and concrete, not fluctuating and erratic. Because in that case, you are not going to attract that very high goal that you want and you know that you can get. So you know what is at stake. You know what you have to do and you are prepared to do it. So again, the angel of health. This is all about health. Healthy spirit in a healthy body. My whole being is healthy and filled with the energy of love. This summarizes the whole reading. I don't think we need to go any further. You are a blessed person and you are very well looked after by the divine realms. The source of true health is our inner divinity. The loving energy that nourishes our being is always available to heal any deviation of forgetfulness that would result in sickness or this is. Visualize now any area of your body or of your life that needs to be healed. See it being showered with the healing transforming light of love. You are a being of light. You know you are a being of light. You are not prepared to live by anything less than life. Oh, look at the card letters. C A N, can. Oh my God. That is your first synchronicity of the day. Will you believe it? It is fantastic. So you are not prepared to compromise your integrity and your destiny. And well done for you because that requires patience, courage, self discipline, immense self love, immense compassion, doing the work of forgiving yourself and others, so that you can move forward, move on, light like a feather. So my blessings to you. You are right on the exact good path 
on which you want it to be and you need it to be and you have all the strategies that you require as long as you stay balanced, focused on your inner light. If you like the reading, please subscribe to the channel, share the video and give me a like. Thank you for listening. See you next time.